Hey, what's up guys? Spartan here, and today I'll be going over my thoughts on the FF7 remake demo. Got to play around with it, played the demo about three times now, and, you know, I kind of have a good encapsulation of how the game is going to work and how the game currently works right now. And basically, I have basically three bullet points that I kind of just want to go over, which is combat, story, and dialogue, of course. That's just like one point. And music. So, the first thing I kind of want to go over, and I think a lot of people were wondering about how this was going to be portrayed in a 1997 turn-based strategy game. How is the combat? Uh, to me, the combat gives you a good taste of um, what's going to be offered in the rest of the game. Uh, there are basically three settings right off the bat, which is easy, normal, and classic. Classic is sort of turn-based, but it's sort of not turn-based at the same time. Your characters will still attack the enemy. Um, and then after the ATB bar fills up, that's when the actual turn base comes into play. So you're, you're gaining ATB um, over time if you don't hit an enemy um, or if you hit the enemy it'll speed up faster so you constantly want to be hitting your enemy in order to get the advantages of the ATB bar and the advantages of not only materia and your abilities but also items as well first and foremost I like to say that the characters whenever they are fighting they interact with each other very well um they they like like they feel like actual people they don't feel different or they like they they don't feel scripted or, or like they're not quiet during the battle they're like throwing shade at each other and they're you know picking on each other the entire time notably between cloud and barrett during the guard scorpion fight they're picking on each other like the entire time you know Barrett will say, all right, I need to, you know, kill this thing now. And then Cloud would be like, just shut up and shoot. <laughs> like, we, we, we get to see how the characters act between each other. Which is great. And it happens in combat. So, so it adds something to how these characters interact with each other. We kind of get like a nice dip into what Materia is and how it works. Materia is basically magic. Plain and simple. In this demo, we ha we saw fire materia, thunder materia, and cure materia, which is like a healing materia. And it's useful. It's a very interesting way of how to do materia. Basically, you hit, like I said before, you build the ATB bar up, and then that's when you can use your materia. Enemies have weaknesses. Um, so let's say, for example, uh, the Guard Scorpion. It is noticeably weak to Thunder. So Barrett had the Thunder Materia at the time, so I would mostly play him. Shoot the Guard Scorpion. Shock him to stagger him, which is basically, it puts him into kind of like a state where the Guard Scorpion doesn't move, and I can do double damage now. And then I'll switch to Cloud, and then he's my damage dealer. So, it's very, very interesting to see um, how everything works in the game so far. One thing that I will say is a concern, which is the combat is very, very good in the first, like, 50 minutes of the game. Because it takes about 50 minutes to complete um, the bombing mission. As far as for me, that's how long it took me to actually complete the demo. It took me about 50 minutes 
on my first run. Um, is this going to be the exact same way or, 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 or the exact same thing all the way through the game? I hope so. Um, I like the combat. Um, I I don't mind the turn-based style of combat that was in the old games, but I much prefer this. It reminds me a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3, but not as much crap on the screen. And it reminds me a lot of a better version, or, more, or a more polished version of the Final Fantasy XV combat system. So, to me personally, I love this. Like, I love this combat system. Um, it's very simple. Um, I will say the only con is, is that I didn't know there was a parry mechanic. So, Cloud has a parry mechanic with, with his Buster Sword. If you go into Punisher mode, you can parry attacks. And you can get a meaty combo on them. To the point where it can stagger them just outright with one swipe. With one parry. Which is very, very good. Um, but they never really explained this. Um, also, apparently the Buster Sword has a buff mechanic. Uh, where if you are in the Punisher mode and if you hold down square during the combo, he'll stab his sword into the ground and then you go into Berserk mode, which you do more damage. So, those were things I didn't know about and I found out later on. And I tried them out on my second playthrough and... My gameplay was way, way better. It felt more fun. It felt more... I mean, like, it was already fun, like, on the first run. Because, like, I had no idea what I was doing. And, it, like, it was, like, the nostalgia of it all. But my second time playing it, I noticed things were dying way faster than my first time playing it. And it's because I knew what the weaknesses were of the enemies and such. A lot of people were complaining that the combat was very hard. And, and the enemies were very spongy. Like, oh my gosh, like, these... like. Me personally, I was like, man, these these guard dogs are really spongy and they're really tough to fight. And it isn't. Like, they actually have weaknesses. Uh, the, the the guard dogs in particular, if you spam Materia Fire, you can stagger them like nothing and then go into Punisher Mode and just, like, chew through all their health. So they're not that difficult to fight. It's just n not a lot of people were utilizing the actual combat. They just thought, okay, well, if I just jam on Square you know, mash on square, you know, in operator mode, then I can, you know, beat him out. And by the way, operator mode and punisher mode are two different stances that Cloud can take. If you're in operator mode, you deal less damage, but you can block and you, and you move faster in general. In punisher mode, you, you, you are basically just shuffling your feet forward. You can't block, you can evade, but you can, but you deal way more damage you do way 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 more damage punisher mode is literally a punisher you know like you, you stagger an enemy you can then punish them for heavy for, for hefty damage which leads into your atp bar which means that you can get off things like braver and uh the thrust ability that he has so things to consider As far as the story goes and the dialogue, I loved it. <laughs> they they took some of the original content from the 1997 version of the game. Um, so they are true to the original source material. But they changed some things along the way as far as how the characters interact with each other. Um, it's still the same. It's just more apparent. And it, and it feels like... The characters, whenever they speak, they feel like real characters. They don't feel like, you know, off-the-wall characters. They don't feel like robots. They, like, like, they don't feel scripted. And that was a big concern of mine going in. I thought that these characters were going to were gonna act scripted, and they didn't. Um, whenever they're, they showed it off at E3 and such, Maximilian Dude, which I'll link... A video where he talks about chapter 2 and chapter 7, I believe. Um, he talks 
in great length about what the game is capable of and kind of goes over like some of the lore and some things that they've changed and they didn't retcon a lot a lot of people thought that they retconned um the very very last portion of the bombing run the bombing run back in the original version you plant a bomb you run out and then everything explodes and it's a ginormous explosion in this version like the remake version of the game the bomb explodes and it doesn't do anything it just blows up kind of like the valves but like it doesn't blow up the entire reactor you then see the president say all right blow up the entire reactor and basically the shinra company blows up the entire factory um a lot of people are saying that's a retcon it isn't a retcon in my opinion uh if you go back to the original 1997 game whenever you get back to tifa's tifa's bar you talk to jesse and she actually says maybe i miscalculated on the bomb maybe because i wasn't expecting that bomb to be you know like to have that much oomph to it like that much explosion to it and she wasn't expecting that she said well, like maybe i did the math wrong on the bomb that's basically kind of where they're going towards is basically they tried to and didn't work out to the you know like the way that they thought it would and shinra corporation just basically wanted to make avalanche look like the evil horrible terrorist bad guys which they're not but in chapter two we actually get to see more and i'll link the video of Maximilian going over chapter two a little bit more because he's actually played chapter two um, extensively because he was actually flown out to Square to play chapter two and kind of give them feedback on how the game's going. And he kind of explains what happens after the bombing run. And there's footage out there as well. Uh, but I'll link his video on it down in the description because it is a very in uh, insightful video on where the story is going towards. As far as the music, the music is the real MVP of the demo. If you didn't like the gameplay, if you didn't like the story, you at least have to admit that the music is phenomenal. It's heroic, it's iconic, and it sounds absolutely amazing. One thing that Square did say that they really, 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 really wanted to do, which is they wanted to make the music flow within the battle itself from start to the you know like to the start of the battle to the end of the battle till after the battle it flows very very nicely like you're hyped up you battle you kill all the enemies and guess what it kind of calms it back down to like the normal theme where you're just like exploring again something that i'm so thankful that they did um you'll see this noticeably in the guard scorpion fight there are three versions of the boss theme there are three versions of the boss theme uh those who choose to fight further um there are three versions of that and all of them sound amazing but they're interwoven where no matter where you end in the song the next version of the song will pick right back up to wherever that portion was and it will kick back in to the start of the next version of the battle or like the uh, the boss thing fantastic it really like like the immersion of battle 
is really supported by the music. And thank God Square went to this extent. Thank you, Square, for doing this. Overall, I am extremely happy with this product. <laughs> um, again, this is a build of the game that was... Apparently, it was made like three months ago. Um, so this isn't the final product. So they can make changes along the way. Like, this game is still subject to change even though like we're like a month out. Um, and, by the way, this game is, is a month out. <laughs> uh, we, we've been waiting for this game for, I think, what, like five years now? Or, like, or longer than that, really. Because we've been asking for a remaster of this game for like the longest time and now we got it and it's a good nostalgia trip uh my only concern about the game right now is i hope that midgar is open world like like to a certain degree i know it'll be limited from what part two will be part two is pure open world um but i really 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 hope that part one as far as the whole Midgard I, like I want to explore Midgard I want to explore the top plates I want to explore the bottom plates where like where like the slums are and everything I want to explore those areas I want to go to each sector and like kind of see like what's going on in those sectors and hopefully side quests will make that happen for the most part I want mini bosses too you know away from like the bigger bosses and I want it to feel like an actual RPG where I can actually grind for you know, my core of the weapon and grind for materia and do all that kind of fun stuff and and get the summons. I want that to happen. So that is kind of like my overall short review. I hope hopefully it is short uh, of the FF7 demo. I will definitely be doing a playthrough on my channel. So if you want to see that playthrough and if you want to come along with me on this ride uh hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that whenever a video comes up you'll be able to see it within your inbox and i'll see you in the next one